because this is something that's been just feels like a huge political disconnect to me, and I just don't know how to make much sense to it. But we had this weird spectacle um, during the Women's World Cup where former President Trump, with all his problems, took time out of his busy schedule and all his pending trials to root against the U.S. Mm -hmm. women's national team and to single out individual players and sort of call in the, you know, two minutes hate against them. He said last week in an apparently unscripted moment that he would much prefer to live in France than to live in the United States. That could be arranged. <laughs> I don't know if France would take him, maybe Belarus. <laughs> but um, there, there is a, a sense where it is becoming just this increasingly overt, non-ironic thing where he just talks about how much he hates America and how terrible America is. And when you say rooting for America's adversaries, I know you're thinking about you know, geopolitical consequences, but I'm actually thinking about him rooting against American athletes in international yeah. competition. Well, they were a bunch of pushy women, Rachel. <laughs> Come on, let's not, you know, overlook the fact that they were a women's team, a women's team who had fought for equal pay, a women's team who were outspoken, who were proud, who were confident, exactly as I have some experience knowing the kind of women that people like Trump hate. And but so, to be overtly oh, anti-patriotic yeah. on even the most surface level. I mean, that's kind but of... But it's not surface is, to these people. Yeah. This is core. This is goes right to who, who they are and what they believe. It's the dog whistle on race, on misogyny, on everything you can uh, think of that they are against. And increasingly, very vocally and publicly against. And, and it is a... It's rooting against Americans among us, the hundreds of millions of us who are different or who have different ideas or are of, you know, a different uh, political perspective. So all of that. But in its whole, it's rooting against America. And that's what I am so, like you, bewildered about, but also... I've watched it for, you know, now seven years. All of the comments about, you know, American presidents, American, uh, you know, leadership, American behavior contrasted, unfortunately, negatively with behavior from dictators. So when, when you know, when you really look at the whole kind of network of people, organizations and money that supports the kind of attitudes that Trump and those like him uh, express, it is so anti-American mm. in every way. And that is what shocks me, because people walk around with, you know, flags on, uh, talking about how they support him or one of his uh, wannabe uh, uh, followers. And, you know, there's nothing American about uh, rooting against our own team or, you know, undermining the rule of law, uh, going after people who uh, do nothing but their best to try to run elections. I mean, you just go down the list, and it's a very long list, but at the core of it is a set of beliefs about Americans who are entitled to rule and the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And the rest of us is a pretty big group, and those entitled to rule who... Uh, believe that they have, uh, you know, the right uh, race, the right sex, the right political perspectives, all of that. Um, you know, they they are they know they're in a contest with us, and it's time we understood that, uh, you know, there's there's no there's no way forward except by winning and defeating uh, these very anti-American political ideas and values. Democracy wins or else. That's exactly right. And 2024 will be a critical moment in whether or not that happens.